Hello everyone. Let me focus right. Okay, what we have today here is a Koenig um, Pong machine, another Pong machine from the 70s. Um, I'll, I'll look it over, but I think it comes from um, 1977 uh, with a cut um, RF cable. Um, the controls uh, seem to work. There is a joystick, actually two joysticks. Um, not even joysticks, but potentiometers, uh, pads, like they used to be. Um, there is a standard 9-volt um, input, um, the classic mono jack, right there, and another input, um, which I actually have no idea what it does. Um, yeah, there is um, uh, the same pattern for the pads. Uh, one for the left side, one for the right side, for two players um, following the same um, pattern um, based only on a mini jack, a stereotype mini jack and I was thinking maybe I can try, I have this spare TV uh, RF uh, cable the RG series for um, antennas and I can uh, connect it temporarily so I can see if there is uh, any signal coming out of the machine um, there is a battery compartment um, very nice uh, that's the way it used to be back then uh, full of rust um, yeah we'll take care of this later and another compartment I, I'm guessing it was to hide the um, yeah on the left side the other compartment uh, must be uh, there in order to hide the the, t the cable, the TV RF uh, cable inside there, but apparently there is no cover uh, for that uh, second uh, compartment but um, yeah, I don't care about this uh, now, I have to um, clean it a bit, uh, open it up, uh, check the circuit and power it up and see if it works and if it doesn't, uh, we can fix it uh, here together uh, over this uh, episode uh, today. Um, what I was thinking is to uh, use, of course, the classic standard uh, uh, mini jack uh, 9 volt uh, Atari style um, power brick uh, because um, back in the days that was universal and uh, let's see what happens and of course I have um, made this uh, loose um, quick and dirty connection to the uh, my uh, spare RF cable the good thing is that we have a working machine or semi working machine because there is a pattern I can clearly see the score and uh, coming up on the field uh, but the picture is not stable so the main chip and the output um, uh, circuit uh, looks like they are working but with some kind of problem could be capacitor problem could be internal um, uh, power problem I don't believe it is the external power break that I'm using or anything like this because uh, this is a standard brick I'm using for um, testing uh, here uh, in the lab so there must be something wrong um, I'm checking pushing uh, pressing uh, switching and uh, do what I can to see if there is any change at all um, but I, I, I uh, by the first glance, I believe there's there must be something wrong with the internal circuit of the um, RF modulator. I cannot see any movement. I cannot see anything. But yeah, maybe I have to open it up and check the circuit, the RF modulator part of it, and um, and then um, the um, power lines maybe something is loose or cut or uh, uh, I don't know looks like the logic uh, behind the uh, the game that means the general instruments um, 
um, chip works fine again I don't believe this is my Atari uh, standard uh, brick um, or anything uh, from the outside um, so let's open it up and see if there's anything we can do uh, trying to detect um, any kind of problem suspicious um, components or fried um, parts of the PCB or I don't know whatever is visible and then uh, we can do some measurements around the, but I believe um, this is my idea it is the RF modulator and I don't know if it is a, a separate part or, or if it is a built-in let's see okay I'm happy for two things uh, first thing is that all the cellophane tape uh, from the 70s is still there and this means that no no one has um, ever opened this before I have to remove all that uh, crap um, and the other thing is that um, just by the first uh, glance I can see no obvious damage over the um, the main board uh, so let me just remove this stuff and um, try to follow the power lines to see if anything is cut uh, but it looks like everything is in place and then um, yeah I have to flip it over and check the other side as well um, around this area uh, somewhere is the uh, general instruments uh, chip uh, which is the main chip that holds the pong game um, and this whole machine is uh, built around it so w we will have the chance to look at it and, um, when I flip the uh, main board but before uh, I flip it over I need to um, get a chance to see for example here is the RF modulator underneath um, I need to see um, several other things about the location of each um, part of the main board um, where is the the power smoothing and uh, where is the controller like this side must hold the uh, left controller uh, down here is the speaker um, and the RF modulator next to it you can tell because um, there is the RF cable uh, coming from there um, I have to check uh, here we can see the power in which also goes to the batteries and here is the general instruments or must be the general instruments um, chip now I have the power on um, by the time um, I'm moving the PCB and flipping it over uh, just because I want to check if there is a loose connection somewhere an accidental you can give me um, some better signal um, but um, this is not the case this time sometimes it works sometimes um, in a, for the most part it doesn't anyways here we have the um, RF modulator which is not a separated uh, box uh, but uh, it is a built-in circuit and um, this uh, makes it hard um, to check several things but I found the transistor uh, which gets the signal and uh, amplifies the signal before uh, the signal goes out uh, for to be ready to be sent to the TV and actually I'm getting something here um, I'm using an, um, a monitor uh, and um, an RCA cable and what we have is a weak signal but stable so maybe we can mod this thing and uh, make it work uh, without the, air, the, the use of uh, uh, the RF modulator but uh, get a picture from um, a standard RCA uh, uh, video mod now the main idea is to steal actually the signal from the um, collector of the um, transistor that um, drives 
um, the signal from um, the chip to the RF modulator which is right there and I trace it uh, to another position which um, suits me better and I, I have also placed the resistor um, to smoothen the um, the signal and then send it out to an RCA uh, female jack and the AV in input um, of my TV at the back of the TV is connected to the video uh, AV3 in this case and you can see we have a great picture a great result um, and I think nobody's going to be using the RF uh, TV old uh, modulator again um, what I don't like well actually looks uh, pretty nice and sharp and clean uh, very clear picture but uh, what I don't like is the color of the ball but this is something I need to investigate further for now I think um, I have to play around with the switches and different modes like this is practice this is uh, uh, tennis course and all that and apparently it looks like it's working and I'm happy with the uh, with the picture um, which was the main um, the the goal of this um, attempt in the first place so yeah let me just fool around a bit uh, with the main switch which actually is working fine and um, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap uh, no matter the the color and the um, uh, um, the resolution for the ball I have uh, prepared uh, my uh, hole here and apart from the drilling I'm uh, switching um, the RCA to the other output uh, to the monochrome um, character display um, so the drilling is over I have placed the RCA uh, the female RCA at the back of the machine and we're having great results here switching back to the TV um, and checking the uh, where is the no, there must be another one okay switching back to the TV um, input uh, the IV3 in this case and everything uh, looks normal so um, that was all for today I'm very happy um, even if um, the RF modulator is um, never to be used again for some reason I'm not gonna spend more time over this I'm going to clean the rust and all that I'll close up the case and call it a wrap um, and I'm gonna play some uh, pong games through the this new output and this is how it looks we have a uh, light gun I found out that this is a uh, big uh, DIN um, socket is to host the light gun. We have the new uh, RCA, our R RCA, um, the left and right uh, paddle uh, inputs, and uh, no use for uh, the TV um, modulator anymore. So yeah, I'm happy. Nobody's going to be using this one again some uh, I wish I could have the cover and put it uh, in there forever um, the idea was to get um, some th the signal out um, and make our life easier and make it work over contemporary modern TVs and uh, monitors and we made it so quite a mod for today I'm very happy and pleased and um, yeah I'm gonna See you shortly uh, in another video. Thanks.